In this episode, we look at two versions of the same dress I made, looking at what I did right and what I changed for the second version. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jenna for more helping you discover your love of sewing. We are talking about this dress I'm wearing right now. This is the Rebecca Shift dress and I made two of them as you can see. So we're going to talk about what changes I made from the first dress to the one that I'm wearing. I like to think of this one as Lily Pulitzer inspired. I made this out of Jennifer Paganelli's Hotel Fredrickson collection. I love this print. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very colorful, bold, vibrant, perfect for spring and summer for those cocktail parties or get togethers. And I must give props to James because as you know, I don't really like PDF patterns, but this was a PDF only version and he actually cut out and put together all of the pattern pieces. So thank you, James. And I will say this dress was fairly easy to figure out and put together, but I did have a few issues with the fit that I did change between this dress, which is made out of a uh, Cotton and Steel's raindrop print, which is a fun gray and pink geometric print to this version here. So this dress is obviously quite a bit longer and it also features a regular 22 inch zipper, which is, which it came out great, but there are a few things that I did between these two versions. I have small shoulders, it's just a fact. So I've noticed most commercial patterns tend to be made for people with slightly larger shoulders. So in this version, I actually did a larger seam allowance. So the pattern actually calls for a quarter inch seam allowance for all seams, which is a bit unorthodox for garment patterns. Usually it's five eighths of an inch. For these shoulder seams, I did one inches because I figured that would kind of hike the dress up a little bit, make the armholes a tad bit smaller because my arms aren't very big and that did work. I also decided to remove the belt section because the dress is just so long. I probably should have made it a little bit shorter. I could always alter that in the future, but for now I'm too lazy. So we're just going to leave this as is. In this version, I omitted the belt, which meant I did have to grade the bodice seam to the waistbands or to the skirt seam a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. And then I actually did an invisible zipper instead of a regular zipper, just because I didn't have any regular zippers that matched the color of this dress. But overall, I thought this pattern was pretty easy to make and it didn't take me too long. The first version uh, probably took me about 10 hours just because I was trying to figure out what to do. The second version probably took me about six to seven hours because I more was familiar with the pattern and knew what I was doing. So I'm a fan of this pattern. Sis Boom, thank you very much. And uh, by the way, Jennifer Paganelli did reach out to me and she actually offered me one pattern of my choosing for free. So this is the one I picked. I think it's a really fun kind of basic shift dress and I love this little notched collar detail. I thought that was really cool. So anyways, if you're thinking about picking up this pattern, these are my thoughts on it. Let me know if you've tried it before or what you're sewing this month and I will see you next time. I'm Jennifer Moore for The Sewing Report. This could be in the outtakes. In this episode, we're looking at two versions of the same dress I made and looking at changes I made to the second version that I'm wearing right now. Uh, I kind of said that weird. Hold on, girl, now wait just a minute. I've got something to say, you should hear it. Oh, I'm happy to make time for your feelings. But you have to admit, I already do. Let's just break it down. Uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me, and everyone can see your anger is misplaced. And I'm gonna tell you, don't hate me cause I get attention. Don't turn me into what I'm not. I have to be me 24.
listen to